everyone welcome back to my channel um today i'm making a wedding card and i thought we could um finish it off together so i had this gatefold card base in my stash um it's got a beautiful uh, design on the front and i've just stamped on the inside to the happy couple and i did that in this um spiced pumpkin sparkle um, for a reason which I'll show you in a minute um, there is a bit of extra uh, embossing powder around which has caught you know with the heat but I don't mind that because it kind of gives a, a sort of sparkly uh, edge to the to the sentiment so I'm quite happy with that so I have this um, this die which I got in a recent D stash and what I've done is I've cut out in the same card as this, um, I've cut out a circle. Um, so here it is. Here it is. So I think that's really pretty. So I'm going to stick that down on top of there, but obviously just half because I, it's a gatefold. So let's do that now. Um, just, uh, sure I've got more or less half here um, and uh, we'll go around here and then on the that bit there okay so I want this to go here um, so that's the that's where I've um, stuck it so okay so we've got something like this okay and now I've got this um, die cut which I received in a giveaway from Teresa the car boot crafter and I thought that would be perfect to put in the middle so we're going to put that down and uh, put that there like so and then I've cut out of um, this, well obviously I had to use another card base to cut this out so from what was left I've cut out a whole series of flowers um, in different sizes and what I've done is I've um, you can see I've I've used that same uh, embossing powder and I just put, put the, the flower down in the embossing ink and then dipped it in the, uh, in the um, powder. So that's why they're not even, but I wanted that effect. I didn't want them to be totally covered. And my idea now is that I want to arrange them around this circle something along this line and you can see that they're they're um they're not all the same they're not all the same size um and they're not all decorated in exactly the same way but that's fine because that's what as i said that's what i wanted and then i want to put uh i'm not sure this one i want to put these inside of those I think that's right and then I've got these which are slightly smaller which I want to put in the in-betweens I think that's it um, yep. so it will be something like this um, I'm missing one, two, three, and two, three. I'm missing one. No, that's odd because I had, I had the. Oh, I think maybe one of these is um, yeah, one of these flowers has to have a slightly smaller center, something like that. So, so I'm going to get sticking. I'm not going to move it again because I've moved it so many times and um. 
and uh, just got in a muddle. So I, I, I did um, try and give these some dimension as well. Uh, so, okay, so well, I'll just move them to the side, try and keep them whole. That's what we'll do. Oops, so I'm just going to glue this down here. And uh, I, I want to, um, what's the word, when you put the petal, I want to line the petals up between, in between the other petals. And stick that one down. I'm sticking this one so that it's sticking to this bit. And then do this one. So... I'm hoping my glue will stick this glitter together, this embossing powder. So, so that's a, a quarter. Let's do this one now. I'm not quite sure how, how they're going to stick on this side. Um, I'm not quite sure. I'm just going to leave that for the moment. I may just put the flowers on one side. And then I'm still thinking. Um, okay, so it's that one. And then this one. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I don't think you can see what I'm doing at all. Sorry about that. Um, right, okay. Okay. I'm wondering whether just to leave it like that. Just so that we can see this pretty design as well. Or whether maybe just to put these other put the smaller flowers I've got some very small ones here put them in between quite like that actually and leave this side free I think I think that's what we're going to do so let's see how this turns out not that big thing no one okay so I think that's that's nice isn't it um I'm just wondering whether to put one on this side maybe a bigger one I think maybe this one this one's already put together so maybe Put this one here. Whoops! Put this one here, and now I have to find something to put in the middle of the flowers. So I'm going to see if I've got any Nuvo drops. Might work. Mm. Going to try. See what this one looks like inside uh, one of these flowers here. I think that will work. I think that's really pretty, so that's what we're going to go for. I'm trying to use my Nouveau drops up, well, not up, but to use them as much as possible because um, I've had them sitting on my shelf and that's not good in this time of using our stash. There we are. So I'm just going to give it a little bash. To try and um, make the 
the centers a bit more round they do level out themselves the drops but i just want to give it a helping hand there we are so i like that i'm just wondering do i need do i need a, a couple up here as well oops where did that come from oh, that was my i think i need a couple here just a couple here I think maybe I'm just going to put a couple there just to finish it off. So we'll do that. And we'll put we'll put some um, drops in these two as well. So I've really enjoyed doing this and I've used lots of um, things which I haven't used for a long time like the uh, the dyes, the embossing powder, the Nuvo drops and so yeah so so that's my wedding card uh, to the happy couple so hope you like it um, I hope you know that if, if you are watching to the end that you consider maybe giving this video a thumbs up subscribing if you're not already a subscriber and have a lovely day and i'll see you all again in my next video so take care everybody bye for now